I'm Pam Cato, owner of craftbeeraustin.com and co-host on the Beerus podcast. I love craft beer. These are my liquid pleasures. Austin has a really vibrant beer scene, and I'm here to show you five of my favorite beers that I think really well represents the city. This is Hans Pills by Real Ale Brewing Company out in Blanco, Texas. They're widely distributed throughout Texas. And this is a really hoppy Pilsner. It is a traditional German Pilsner, but it's got a lot of really, really vibrant hoppy notes to it that make it almost a little hoppier than a pale ale. It's crisp, it's dry, it's delicious, it's the perfect summer beer or year-round beer. So the Austin craft beer scene is unique because people are extremely friendly. Um, there's a lot of competition, of course there's always competition, but people are willing to help each other and a lot of people are friends. And so they've either worked together in some other aspect of the beer scene, um, or, but it doesn't matter. Even if you are new to town and you're starting a brewery, people are willing to help you and uh, go visit and stand you up. And that, I think that's really important. This is Family Business Cosmic Cowboy IPA. As you can see by just looking at it, it's your traditional American IPA. So it's got that a little bit of an amber golden color to it. and it has exactly what you would expect from an American IPA, some grapefruit notes, but on top of that, a little bit of that piney resin at the back end. It's delicious. So in the city proper, there's almost 50 breweries in town. And then um, we call it the Hill Country or Central Texas. So we have several suburbs, but again, they're 20, 30 minutes outside of town. And, in, and those, all of those encompass about 120 breweries. This is Pint House Pizza's Electric Jellyfish, and it has electrified the Austin beer scene. Uh, when this beer came out, it's definitely a hazy IPA. People couldn't get enough of this delicious beer. So it, because it's a classic hazy, juicy IPA, it definitely imparts the notes of lychee, a little bit of mango, a lot of those citrus flavors. So it is really hoppy, but it's really hoppy in a very citrus pleasant way. I love beer. So I drink uh, water, tea, hot tea, and beer, and that's it. Beer is my uh, beverage of choice. I love the community around beer. I love the flavor of beer, the different styles of beer. I love the exploring all the ways to pair it with food. Um, I think it's a communal beverage, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I feel. I'm very passionate about beer. Now I'd like to show you something on tap. So this is a classic Baltic Porter. It's a collaboration beer by Holdout Brewing Company and a new brewery that's up and coming called Fast Friends. And this is a uh, classic Baltic Porter, which is a little different from a traditional Porter in that it's made with a lager yeast. So it's gonna have a little bit of a creamier mouthfeel, but still import all of those roasty notes that you will get from a Porter. It's, it's the perfect porter. Um, little chocolate, little cocoa nibs, uh, a little roasty, but all, the, all in all, very nice, creamy, mellow with a lovely mouthfeel. I think what shocks people the most is that our beer does not get out of the state of Texas. So there's a couple of reasons for that. One is we have pretty restrictive laws here that hamper distribution. But the other reason is it's really hard to even get beer to Texans. It's a large state. And so for a brewery to be able to produce enough beer to even get to all of Texas is a difficult enough task. This is a pub ale from Southern Heights Brewing Company here in Austin, Texas. I love a good pub ale. It's gonna be a lower in ABV. You can see the color is a really nice amber color. It's gonna have a nice creamy mouthfeel to it. 
absolutely delicious. Um, really mellow flavors, a little lower on the ABV side, so this is something that you can really enjoy whether the weather is cold or hot outside. And so when we go to different events like the Great American Beer Festival, people know Austin beers and they are really eager to go try those beers because they know unless they come here, they're not gonna get those beers anywhere else. As you can see, Austin has a really vibrant beer scene. This is a great place for beer lovers to come visit. A lot of different styles represented across the city and there's plenty of collaboration beers because this is a really strong beer community.